It's time for another Sunday morning breakfast, and this meal is entirely inspired by this, the babka, which in Polish means grandma, and it also is the name of this particular style of bread. So one of my colleagues at work is a Polish grandmother, a babcha, and the name of this bread is babka, which is just another form of the same word. Anyways, I thought that this bread was good. It's just, as European desserts go, not very sweet. So I thought it would be better as a French toast. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll show you what I'm going to prepare with this and how I'm going to make it. So let's get into it. So here we have all of our lovely ingredients to make our French toast. We have some heavy whipping cream, some walnuts, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, vanilla extract, sugar, and of course, the babka. But before we go any further, I'm gonna need an extra large cup of coffee immediately. So let's get that going. Now, you've probably seen this mug before. It's my favorite. It has my logo on it and it changes colors as it gets hot. I got it from Life with Ron. Isn't that awesome? Well, I was going to make sausage to change it up a little, but the sausage was frozen rock solid in the freezer. So it is bacon again, which does seem to make a frequent appearance in my videos. But remember, I only make breakfast on Sundays. So we enjoy it and I do try to have it once a week. So this other part of the griddle, I'm gonna be making the French toast there. So less pans to clean, perfect. Well, I've waited long enough for my caffeine. So, a little sugar, a lot of cream, and we'll give it a stir. Looks to me like it is the perfect color. Well, speaking of perfect color, this bacon looks like it's the perfect color too. Really nice and crisp, and we'll just take it off and put that in some paper towel to get the grease off and get going on the French toast. Well, I'm ready to dredge my babka. I have two eggs beaten, some heavy whipping cream. I have the cinnamon and nutmeg and sugar, and I'm just saturating it. Don't forget to get those edges. And it's always kind of like, how much should I saturate this? But, you know, you want it all the way through. You know, cook it a little bit longer that way, but it's just going to turn out better. So I took most of the bacon grease off of this pan here. And um, these pieces are really nice and hearty. So um, this will be more than adequate for um, each of us to have one this morning. And I'm going to have the bacon as well as... Uh, some eggs on the side so I think this will be a really hearty brunch so we're just gonna let that cook um, until it gets brown on that side and then turn it over and it's looking just about done so let's get going on the eggs next I am uh, just having a little bit of eggs uh, and I'm putting a lot of cheese on it. So here's the final product. I have the uh, beautiful French toast with homemade whipping cream. Um, I didn't have any in the fridge, so I had that heavy whipping cream. I thought, oh, why not? I'll make my own with some vanilla and sugar and uh, a lot of whipping. And uh, I have the walnuts and some syrup. And uh, I have to say, it really turned out well. So uh, a little bit of eggs and two strips of bacon along with a uh, cup of coffee and some cranberry juice. So something different and uh, really tasty. So, you know, uh, the babka was the perfect thing to make French toast out of. So... If you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching.